This is your spiritual connection, ourplanetlife.org, broadcasting from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Hello, welcome to the Business Hour. Um, here with us this morning is Dr. Bert Alexander, a minister here at Web Chapel Church of Christ. How are you doing, Bert? I'm doing well. How are you today? Wonderful, wonderful, Bert. I'm glad that you're here this morning because uh, we would like to discuss the usefulness of a program like this, like, like Business Hour. This is basically uh, a network program. And um, I would like to know, in, in your opinion, uh, what is what are the advantages of networking? Everybody talks about networking. W why networking? Why, why is it important to network? Well, here in the city of, of Farmers Branch, where we both work, uh, we are a small town that has been completely uh, encompassed by a large city, uh, Dallas, and uh, we have many political, community, um, education leaders in this area that they know each other they, and they, they work together with businesses to try to improve the, the community. Networking is an opportunity for everyone to get to know each other the better and to make sure that we're all singing off the same sheet of music, so to speak. And in the networking e efforts here in Farmers Branch, uh, I've come into contact with people who are members of the uh, Farmers Branch Rotary Club, for example, or the Farmers Branch Chamber of Commerce. Um, these these are efforts uh, to try to uh, encourage uh, networking between businesses uh, and uh, individuals within the the community of Farmers Branch itself. That is great, Bert. Uh, what is networking? How would you define networking? Well, networking for me is like um, if I were a farmer and I had uh, a certain amount of, amount of livestock in one pen, but I, I needed uh, help from another farmer who had a different kind of livestock that would help both of us to, to be better uh, at our jobs uh, as, as farmers. If we were to get together and share uh, the, the livestock together, we would maybe come up with a, a better kind of livestock uh, through uh, through networking. It's, it's a, an, a, a situation whereby one giving of himself, uh, he gains a great deal from someone else. Oh, interesting. So we can say that in a way networking has to do with building relationships that are mutually beneficial, right? A relationship is the foundational uh, part of, of networking. Uh, it is impossible for us to, to network with someone with whom we do not have a relationship. The relationship uh, builds the trust uh, through which the networking uh, process grows. Uh, people just, they won't network with someone who is not their friend. It's gotta be somebody that they know and they trust. I, I like what you're saying, Bert, because uh, some people might think that networking is just, it's just a bunch of business people trying to get some business for themselves. Well, unfortunately, people have, have probably misused networking in the past uh, to, to make financial gains for themselves. Ah. Uh, we, we can only look back uh, a couple of years and see how the banking industry just completely collapsed because the, the networking that was going on there was uh, the idea of, of uh, people trying to get rich uh, off of other folks without ever putting anything back. And uh, that, that's an improper use of networking. Networking, when it, it's uh, at its purest form, is something that benefits both sides that are participating. That's why I wanted you to be here, Bert, because I wanted everybody to understand why we're doing this business show uh, and why we are so interested in networking, because you're telling us that uh, networking is not just you trying to see what you can gain there, but it is I like the way you put it, it is building friendships. Oh yes, it's, it's absolutely building friendships. Um, for networking to work, uh, one has to go into it with the idea of what can I do to benefit the company uh, or the uh, 
what can I do to benefit the community? What can I do to, to benefit those around me in my neighborhood? Rather than, you know, what am I going to get out of it? It, it almost goes back to, to what uh, uh, John F. Kennedy said. You know, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. Uh, when, when we go in with the idea that we're wanting to help others, the help that we need will, will come will automatically flow. Uh, I think that there are three words that I like very much that you mentioned. You, you talked about community, mm -hmm. helping the community. You talked about friendship. You talked about something very important, trust. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, in the networking that I do within the, the community here in Farmers Branch, um, it has to be uh, based on, on trust. It has to be based on friendship. Uh, in, in the past few years by uh, relationships that I've developed within the community, I've gotten to know a lot of people in Farmer's Branch that I wouldn't have known before. And um, it's, it's not a matter of what do I get out of it, but what can I put into it? And in turn, what will make the city of Farmer's Branch a better place to live? And of course, you know, if we have a better city to live in, it is good for us. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, Definitely. absolutely. It's, it's, it's mutually beneficial. Uh, networking will fall apart when uh, someone goes into it with the idea of how much can I get out of this with how little do I have to put into it. Uh, that, and again, going back to the, the image of the banking industry collapse, I think that's what happened. People were not interested in developing relationships or developing good business practices. They just want to get money. There is a question here, Bert, that I think is important because some of, some of the guys that are uh, watching the show out there, they might be saying, well, it is good to think about the benefit of the community and making friendships and trust, but in my business, how can I profit from networking? Why do I have to network? And, and you have many friends there that are networking with you, sure. and they are business, sure. sound business people. They are not crazy right. guys that are hungry for friendships. Well, you know, we, we live in a society today in America where corporations pretty much control most businesses, almost all businesses. And it's, it's kind of refreshing at times to be able to deal with the local baker or the local restaurant owner or the local car repair person. And you get to know them one-on-one, -on -one, and you develop a relationship so that, you know, if you take your car in to be serviced, he's going to do a good job on it, and if there's a problem, you can take it back and he'll, he'll make it right. Whereas, uh, when you're dealing with a, a, a major corporate chain of uh, businesses, if, if you have a problem, you have to work your way up all the way to the uh, the head of uh, the corporation and you know you may or may not get the satisfaction that you want. Would you recommend the guys out there you know uh, to, to go ahead and network to you know there is a way in which we can network through uh, internet for instance we have a chat room and people can participate in the chat room and start meeting each other through the chat room. Sure. Would you, would you recommend people to participate in networking, to sure. get involved? Sure, I, I would recommend that they get involved in, in a, a chat room uh, situation. Uh, personally, I'm in, involved with a couple of um, activities here in the Farmers Branch area where I get to meet um, dozens of uh, people from the community on a weekly basis. Is it? personally satisfactory to you? Does it, does it help you, let's say, you know, other than meeting people? And like, I, I think that meeting people can like give us a boost, like more energy. Yes, yes. Well, for, for me, it's exciting to know that, that uh, I, I met in a meeting this morning with the mayor of Farmers Branch, and he knows who I am. Uh, the the, the uh, chief of the fire department knows who I am. Uh, the city manager knows me by name, and it's it's really neat to be able to to deal with these people in a networking uh, framework. And uh, you know, not that I'm trying to drop names, but yeah. you know, it, it's it's nice to be heard. So no wonder that you get here smiling every day, me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of energy out of your networking activities. Well, it's it's uh, it's really. It's neat, and one of the things that happened today, I, I was uh, at one of my meetings, and, 
And uh, one of my friends there at the meeting said, uh, you know, I, I need to discuss something with you. And we talked about it a little bit, and, and I thought that, you know, everything was okay. And we went to the meeting, and, and then uh, about two, three hours later, he shows up at my office and said, could I take you to lunch? I need to talk with you. And we, we go to lunch and, and we talk and he had a, a, a personal uh, issue uh, within his family that he wanted to discuss with me. And he, he thanked me for being available for him. Oh, and that's that, so good. Yeah, that, that was networking. I mean, he would, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, he wouldn't have known who I am and I wouldn't know him. Yeah. You were completely strangers. Yes. Wow, that's fantastic. Yes. That's great. Now, I want to change the conversation a little bit. We are about to finish here and... Uh, uh, you know, we are members of the church here, and there are some of the members of our church are, are watching these programs. How does all this relate to what we believe as a church? We want to uh, reach out with the good news. We want to tell other people about God and how uh, wonderful God has been in our lives and what difference God can make in their lives. How does this deal of networking, making friendships, earning trust, what do these, what do these things have to do with uh, evangelism? Well, uh, I, I was taking a, a class uh, a few years back, about five years ago, that had to do with uh, how the church actually works. And one of the things that really made an impression upon me by the professor was he said, uh, you know, uh, there are no programs to go in the community and evangelize folks uh, on a, a large scale. What we need to be doing, what we need to be thinking about is going into the community and joining Jesus where he's already at work uh, with whatever activities are going on there. Become part of that and through those um, endeavors, uh, people will get to know Jesus through the relationship that Let you developed. Let me ask you something. Him. I'm sorry that I, that I cut you like that, but I, something got my interest. You're telling me that Jesus is working with the Chamber of Commerce? Uh, Jesus is working with the Chamber of Commerce, and he's working with the school system, and he's, so he's working not with the Rotary he's, Club. He's not secluded to the church building. Uh -huh. He's not enclosed and incarcerated mm -hmm. here. Uh, Henry, I, I, I was at a Rotary uh, leadership conference just uh, a couple of weeks ago and it blew me away that there are 1.2 million members of the Rotary in the world. In our own fellowship we have approximately the same number uh, in the world. Uh, Rotary within the next few years will be responsible for eradicating polio worldwide worldwide. When Rotary took this, this cause on back in the mid-80s, there were something like 30 nations that had uh, over uh, four to five million cases of active polio. And through the efforts of Rotary, it's now down to three nations and the number of active uh, cases is less than 40,000. So that means that God has been active out there, you know, Indeed helping active. those people and, uh, you know, carrying out. Because I'm sure that God wants to alleviate suffering. And, Absolutely. Yeah. So. Well, you know, Jesus sent out his disciples once and, and he told them to go out into the, the communities around and come back and report. And they came back and, and some of them said, you know, there, there's people out there that uh, are doing things in your name and they're not from us. And Jesus said, whoever's not with me is for me. And his, his point was, uh, people who, uh, who want to do right, people that want to do good things are not our enemy. That's exactly. Bert, thank you very much. I mean, it's unbelievable how, time, how fast time flies. <laughs> time has gone, and, and uh, we have to say goodbye, but I think that what you said today is extremely important. I really want to encourage people out there to uh, go out and uh, network and make friends and, um, and trust and get some excitement, like Bert has all that excitement. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bert. And thanks to Barbara, and thanks to uh, Diego and everybody that is there in the sounds, um, uh, the, the control room, ready to play the last piece of music. Okay. There, there it comes.